What's up everybody? We're here on American Truck Simulator today. Uh, if you caught the live stream that Serious Mods did on Saturday night, uh, I participated in that and this was the truck I was driving. In fact, this is where I left it. <laughs> so uh, today I thought I'd do a little bit of uh, ATS gameplay and I haven't really driven much of Colorado so I thought we'd give that a try and what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pick up a load let's see from Moab which is just south of us there and then we're gonna go over to Denver so we'll check that out and I'm probably gonna pick up another load in Denver and maybe go down to I don't know it might be kinda cool to go to Durango or something uh, just to explore some more of the roads and uh, it looks like a pretty windy little road section right through there so it'd be kind of cool maybe we could go over to denver and i don't know either back to grand junction and then down or maybe over down through colorado springs to pueblo and then over and down i don't know we'll figure it out but in fact what we'll just probably have to see where it takes us but if we can even get a load to durango if not then we'll just drive it for fun but anyway we're gonna do that and uh see what we can get into and uh, I will try to remember to put a link to Cirrus Mods live stream that we did, that convoy. We had about eight or nine trucks in there. Um, and uh, we ended up pulling over at a truck stop in Las Vegas, which was a big mistake because there was at least 50 trucks in there. And uh, this, was on, this was on Truckers MP uh, multiplayer. And I think there was even some, uh, from what I heard, there was even some ATS like admins and stuff they're kind of watching so we were trying to be careful but there was so much CB chatter we just had to get out of there as quick as we could we were meeting another guy there so uh, that's why we stopped anyway let's get rolling here we're back here on single player uh, enjoy the traffic it's kind of weird uh, you know not having traffic on that TMP stuff so we're all looking forward to when uh, SCS and ATS, you know, they release their official multiplayer aspect of the game, which should be, I think they said, before the end of the year. Which would be really nice because then we can run custom trucks, custom paint jobs, you know, any, any modded trucks and things. So it'll be a lot of fun then. But the downside is, I believe, they're only supposed to be able to support four players in multiplayer so it kind of kind of limits you know the, the size of the convoy we can have but with the trade-off being of course we can have modded trucks and paint jobs and trailers and stuff and then uh, also have traffic which will add a huge impact to the game we had a little fender bender there. So I'm going to run down here to Moab and pick up this load to Denver. And then uh, I believe we're going to be hauling some home goods. I'm not really sure what that is, but <laughs> that's what we're picking up. I need to switch my uh, Jake brake from I've got a little kind of homemade button box thing over here with some buttons and switches I need to I don't know I, I'm kind of thinking that I need to switch that back to my my steering wheel because when I want to put on the Jake brakes I got to reach kind of far over to flip the switch and although I like that it's just kind of a pain to get to and I don't have my button box thing securely mounted to my desk anymore because I had removed it because I wasn't playing ATS. I hadn't. I mean, Saturday. Well, actually, I, I take that back. Probably Wednesday or Thursday, I hopped on and built my truck for this run that we had Saturday night, and then uh, got my truck in position, fueled up, ready to go. So that was probably Thursday, I guess it was, Wednesday or Thursday of the week prior to when you're watching this. Uh, that was the first time I played ATS in, I don't know, months. Months and months. In fact, I think I'm 
just gonna hop over here in this other lane so I gotta make a left anyway but um yeah, that was a lot of fun Saturday except for that truck stop in Las Vegas that was kind of a mess <laughs> there was so many trucks in there so much CB chatter you couldn't even hear what was going on couldn't even hear our, our, uh, our teammates in the convoy and then uh, as I was trying to leave out with another driver uh, we saw two trucks colliding in each other big mess one of them disappeared though so I guess they got a little little rage quit there or something but <laughs> yeah it was I mean it was a mess what's even worse though I think is like whenever you're playing in TMP and you go to a a uh, drop-off point for your cargo and there's 500 people there you're all driving into each other and it's it's chaos pure chaos so like I said in one aspect that'll be kinda nice you can only have four uh, alright let's see if we can get in here looks like we gotta open the gate and I don't think I swung wide enough because I wasn't sure where I was going We'll check it out. All right, cargo. And we are going from Moab. Yep, here it is, home accessories. All right. Yep, this ought to be fun with a 53 foot trailer. Hmm. Let me take a look here real quick. I'm wondering, I don't know if I can go around the back side of the building. Looks like I cannot. So this ought to be interesting getting in here. I think I know what I want to do though. That is, we are going to, we're going to back up between that red trailer sticking out and that white box van thing over there and then we'll back it back in here, I think is what I'm going to do. So we'll see how this goes. And I don't really want to take the time to do it in first person, so we're just going to cheat a little bit and do it in this view. Well, if that was the spot right there, I'd be in like Flynn, but nope. That is not the spot. Alright, so some of these spots... I mean, this is a long trailer, but I mean, some of these spots, they make it so ridiculous for you to get in here. So, hopefully the gate will not shut on me. Did not cut that enough. Good enough. <laughs> I'm not going to get in there straight. All 
All right. Yeah, it's still daytime. Perfect. I hate it whenever you get loaded and then all of a sudden it's dark. All right, let's get out of here. So this is my custom Kenworth W900 and custom trailer that I built. I, well, I say custom, it's as much as you can do, I guess, with the in-game stuff. This is all no mods whatsoever. And I really don't know why I went with a 53-foot trailer. I should have went with a 48. That would have been a little bit easier. But it hasn't been too much of a problem. I think early on when I first built it, I turned the curve too sharp and hit a pole or something. But I think I did pretty good. I even uh, on on the live stream Saturday night with Serious Mods, I went to uh, drop off at uh, Cedar City. I uh, I had to go to a, a, a mine and uh, it was awfully tight in there. But I made it didn't get stuck or jammed on anything. Now see I like this where I can actually see the traffic lights. I, I've got this big visor on here and some of the traffic lights and in some areas you just cannot see them. And for those of you that have been following, haven't well, haven't been following along too much with ATS, uh, the next states are coming up. It's going to be Wyoming and Texas. They've already announced those two. I've got them on my wish list already. So once those come out, I'll be getting them, and uh, that'll be fun. I think Wyoming will be a pretty good adventure. Uh, Texas is interesting. Uh, it's next door to me. Um, I'm in Louisiana, of course, but. Uh, It'll probably be a while before they get to Louisiana because they're probably going to work up to, you know, Oklahoma and whatever's up above there. And then they'll, they might start coming back down, so I don't know how they're going to do it, but I figure it'd be probably another year, year and a half, maybe two before they get to Louisiana. So it's going to be a little while. You know, I didn't even look to see how much of a load we've got here. Let's see if I can... 49,000 pounds. Okay, well that's not too bad. I will be stopping somewhere here along the way to get us a couple of good screenshots you can use for the thumbnail and just uh, just to have because the uh, I like the the camera in this game it's really nice you can do all sorts of things and plus the scenery you can just get a lot of good shots so once I find a good spot we'll I'll probably cut cut that part out of the video just so you don't have to watch it but I'll stop and get me a good screenshot here somewhere it looks like we're about to get on 70 
And here we go with the good merging. This is not any fun. This game, I tell you, it's one of the one of the things that really sucks about the AI traffic is when these trucks go to merge. Or I guess anybody really look, look they come to a dead stop. So I am not gonna do that. There's nothing coming, so I'm just gonna go around them. That is so annoying. And one of the other things that's pretty annoying to me is I don't have a uh, wheel and pedals that have a clutch, so I, I don't know if I can, you know, manually switch gears. I, I might be able to, but so I'm using this Eaton Fuller 18-speed with a automatic transmission, and it's would be nice to be able to s stay in a lower gear before, you know, like especially on going up hills and stuff. I, I seem to lag behind, but I don't think that's really anything I can do, you know, unless I'm running empty with a big engine or something, or try some different gearing or something, but I've just got to live with this uh, automatic transmission for now. I'd love to, one of these days, upgrade my wheel and pedals to, you know, a nicer set, like maybe a one of those Logitech G ones or something, real nice ones, but I just don't have about three or four hundred dollars right now to drop on one of those things. All right, so I'm gonna set my cruise control on 83. Oh, no, nope, never mind, 78. <laughs> well, here's Colorado. And what's about to make me pull over? Yep never fails dang that truck slowed down fast Almost 86.5. It's a pretty good load there. There's that stupid merging again. It's like a big truck stop over there on the right. Looks like I've explored a little bit over there, but haven't been to it. I guess I just went by it.
And it looks like another big one over there on the left. I guess inter <coughs> Interstate 70 would be a pretty good size, um, well, heavily traveled anyway. From what is that, Idaho to Denver kind of that corridor, I guess, would be sort of a, a big, heavily traveled area. <laughs> Just as soon as I set my cruise control, it changes again. This might be a pretty cool spot right here for a screenshot. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab one since we're here. So I will be right back. Alright, got a couple of, couple of good screenshots I think. So we'll, I might use one of those and if I see something else further along we'll stop again. But got to get those screenshots. Always forget <laughs> when I'm playing Farming Simulator. I always forget this to get a screenshot. I used to have a little sticky note on my monitor here that says Farming Simulator take screenshot because <laughs> I always forgot. But yeah, I think I have been through here already. I, I remember these tunnels because I had. Um, I think I was getting ready for the live stream Saturday night and I had gone from my home. Uh, I've got a, a garage. I think it's in, you know, is it Washington or is it Utah? I can't remember. Maybe it's Utah. And I drove over to uh, Denver and then down. So I have been through here a little, but since I bought the DLC for Colorado I haven't really played this at all See, the traffic margin is just ridiculous. They need to fix that. I mean, there was nothing coming. That red truck could have just merged on in there, but now it has to come to a complete stop, and then that little white car in front of me slams on the brakes and lets them in. So, I mean, that's, they need to rework that big time. That's just not right at all. Yeah, and see, right through here, I think I stopped and took, and had took a screenshot the last time I came through here so we won't stop this time but 
if there's another good spot somewhere along the way to uh, Denver, I'll stop. And probably if there's a nice sign or something that says Denver, I might might stop and take a screenshot there too. But this game is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the this is one of the games where I can run everything basically just full out. I mean, I've got I think I've got most everything on either high or ultra high or or ultra and then I've got you know everything just turned up and the game just plays I mean I I don't think I've ever when I was in the game except for maybe if it was some sort of a mod conflict or something I don't think I've ever had the game just crash on me for no reason <laughs> I like blowing the horn in the in the tunnels and hear the echo. It's kind of funny. Yeah, see, I stopped right along here somewhere the last time I was playing and got some screenshots. Kind of a cool spot with the elevated roadway over there on the other side. Yeah, I guess I better slow it down just a little bit. I don't like that you can't even see the stripes or nothing on the road. I don't care for that. I know it's concrete and all, but I don't know. I guess maybe the game's a tad too bright. I mean, my in my right mirror up there, I can see the white line on the right, but I can't see the left. Well, I can barely see it. Is it? Yeah, I can see a little bit. All right, there we go. Now I can see it. But see, I mean, this this game, I mean, look at all this. Look at these little towns or little communities and stuff. All that's pretty cool. I mean, just the trailer, little trailer park. And, I mean, they've put, they put a lot of effort into this, and it just keeps getting better. It seems like every state they release, it's better than the last one. I mean, I remember when, uh, I believe it was New Mexico came out, I thought how awesome that one was. But then whenever, I think it was Oregon, maybe, with all the logging and stuff, I mean that one was really cool. But I believe that my favorite so far is probably this Colorado. I can't think of anything else. Idaho is pretty cool. That's kind of mountainous and whatever too. But I think for me, I haven't really explored much of it. But from what I've seen, Colorado to me is probably the best so far. So they're getting getting better and better. I mean, just look at all these trees and bushes, all the signs and rivers and bridges you have to go over, and these cliff sides. I mean, it's pretty neat. Sorry, I just can't do the outside view too much. I can't control the truck, and I'd rather not run into a guardrail or something. So, <laughs> we probably won't. You probably won't get too many outside views. I'll try to switch if the road's straight or something, but maybe look out the window as much as I can. But I mean, these these cliff sides are really cool. Plus, I got traffic next to me. I don't want to run in and damage my truck any more than it already is. I think from the last uh, the stream on Saturday night, I think I accidentally hit a. Uh, concrete barricade or something when I was in that mine because it was awfully tight in there see now right here would be an awesome place if I had a manual shift I could downshift to another gear maybe if I let off just a little bit maybe it'll switch there we go so maybe that's the solution is just to let off the gas a little bit and let it downshift itself 
Ooh, now this is looking like a pretty nice spot. Let me see. Oh, yeah, but see, I think I'd already taken a screenshot here. I'm just going to grab one anyway. Yeah, I think I stopped at this exact spot. Maybe right up here on the top of this little, at this, where it curves back to the left. I think I stopped there before and took a screenshot. It's just one of those scenes where, you know, the mountains and trees and stuff is really nice. Turn on my hazard since I'm going like 30 miles an hour. definitely going up in fact there's a brake check right up here which means we'll be eventually back going back down so <laughs> get ready on the jakes I'm trying to get my window to roll down, but I forgot which key it is. Oh, maybe it's the arrows. Oh, that's there it is. Okay, that's the left window. All right, up and down on the arrows. Got it. Now, if I set the cruise control, then the jakes will come on automatically if I get too fast. So I'm gonna get up here about 68 and set the cruise control and it looks like I'm gonna need some rest here pretty soon but I'm hoping we can make it to our destination before I have to do that let me check the uh, deal here y'all yeah, oh yeah we got plenty of time okay and let's check the damage see I got 5% on the truck and 5 on the trailer that's, that's from where I ran into that concrete barricade plus uh, I've put quite a bit of miles on these tires. I'm sure some of it's tires. Oops, we're at 45. Not up. Oh, now it's back up to. Oh wait, it's truck's 45. Okay, got it. Yeah, I remember this stretch of road here. It's all downhill pretty much. There's a few little ups, but mostly downhill. Yep, Denver, that's where we're going. Oops, gonna get back over.
Well, that messed me up. I hate it when they do that. You gotta go way around and then come back. Jeez. But I guess uh, I guess that's reality or somewhat reality. It happens, I guess. So I have a, a bit of a, a story to tell you. I guess it's not. I mean, it's not that interesting, but it's uh, it was it's a bit scary. I guess dangerous a little. But uh, anyway, so my wife and I we just bought a new car. You uh, know, went over about an hour away and test drove it and looked at it and all that. So 2021. Anyway, so there's this uh. Tex-Mex Mexican restaurant that we like to go eat at uh, it's another 30 minutes further away from us but you know if we're already an hour away what's another 30 minutes to go eat at this nice Mexican place anyway so we went to go eat there on the way back we were coming into that town where we bought the car and uh, I noticed that there was a, uh, some bright headlights coming up behind me like really fast and I just thought well it's probably one of those Texas drivers or something that's in a big old hurry and uh, they'll just zip on by well they zipped on by okay because we were we were doing about 70 I was doing 70 and they must have been doing I say they because there was two of them must have been doing at least a hundred and twenty because I mean they blew by us like we were standing still at 70 and uh, it was a silver I think it was a silver Porsche. I can't remember if it was a two-door or a four-door. But anyway, that sucker was moving. And then I was like, good grief. And, this, and then uh, not long after that, here comes a... On, in the other lane... Like, so I was in the middle lane. The Porsche went by me on the, uh, on the, the far left-hand lane. Well, on my right side, here comes a black and red... Dodge Challenger just blew by me too and they were racing anyway that was uh, that was a little bit scary because those guys I mean they were they were really moving doing about like I said they had to have been doing at least 120 and all that traffic in there I mean I don't know I I'm not really, I never, I never really was the type, because when I was growing up in, in high school and college, I never had a, a vehicle that would do anything like that. Now, I later, I later got a, um, it was only a V6, but I got a Chevy Camaro. It was a 2014. It was nice, too. It was red with the RS package, had a sunroof. And for a V6, that thing had 320 horsepower, and it would, it would go as fast as I wanted it to go. I got it up to a hundred, but I, I never really, I never am the speed demon type and the reckless driving and all that stuff. So I, I normally kept it about five over when I drive and still do. I just, I just don't want a speeding ticket and just, you know, when you get going so fast like that, I mean, it's just asking for trouble. Uh, most everybody around here sticks between either below or at the speed limit or maybe five to ten over I mean, you don't really you, occasionally you'll get uh some some speeders that come zipping by doing about you know 85 or 90 in a 70 or 75 and well i guess it'd be 70 here it's 75 someplace in texas but here in louisiana i think the speed limit on the interstates is uh 70 but um yeah i just you know it's just asking for trouble 
Uh, I have seen so many times too where we've been on the interstate um, going back home or whatever and usually it's um, it's from the west of us back towards the east you know traveling in that direction towards the east um, there'll be state troopers you know set up watching for speeders and they'll bust them too I mean I have seen it so many times where a car comes flying by me doing about 85 or 90 and somewhere up the road you know you'll see them pulled over because I mean they don't play around here in some places you know you can get by with with that kind of speed but not here of course we don't have the volume of traffic like some of the places out west do you know in California and Oregon and some of those places it's uh, you know a lot of interstate travel to get to places this interstate here that, tra that comes through our town uh, it uh, it's pretty well traveled, but it's only you know it's only two lanes on each side, so you can't really have a huge amount of traffic flow. Like whereas right here, see we went three, maybe four lanes, and that just doesn't work. All right, we well, so made it to Denver. Uh, let me grab a screenshot. Nice. All right, so we're almost there. 27 minutes is what it's saying. 26 now, or 25 miles, excuse me. Let's find our spot. Oh, that's like a, uh, is that baseball or football? Is that, that the uh, Denver Broncos Stadium? Who knows what that actually is? It could be. I mean, they're not gonna. You know, they can't do actual names because of the licensing and stuff. But I don't know. Somebody let me know if that's uh, if that's the Denver Broncos that where they play right there. Looks like a football stadium to me, not baseball. I'm not familiar enough with the Denver Broncos facility to know if that's their stadium or not. Oh, car broke down. All right, we're almost there. Yeah, we. Got our turn coming up. I'm going to cut this car off and then get over in this far lane. Yeah, so what we're going to do is, uh, once we get this load dropped off and delivered and all that good stuff, I'm going to actually let y'all watch me build another truck for the live stream next week. Um, we're going to start doing, with serious mods, we're going to start doing the uh, convoy once a month uh, on a Saturday night. So it'll be, um, this next one will be, let's see, what is that, uh, uh, June the 1st, I guess? Uh, no, I'm looking at April. Uh, it's whatever that first weekend in, in June is, so we're going to do that. I'm going to, I think we're all going to run like a Prime Inc. setup, so I'm going to be making probably a, um, let's see, I might, I'm probably going to go with the Cascadia. I'm, I haven't run that truck before, and I'm probably going to end up doing either orange or yellow. I'm going to have to see how it looks. Of course, we can't do the actual prime ink, uh, you know, livery or paint scheme or whatever it's called. We can't do that, but we can at least be running similar trucks with some crazy colors. We decided to do that this time. And I just barely missed that sign. Yeah, so I think right here on the right, I believe that is a Cascadia. I think. Once I get away from, you know, the Kenworth, Peterbilt, 
uh, Freightliners and Max, I kind of get a little bit. Actually, once you get away from uh, Kenworth and Peterbilt, I kind of lost on as far as what some of the truck models and stuff are. All right, let's see. We got the old Walbert. Looks like we got a turn here. And we're going to come in the back side. Oops. Yep, there we go. All right, let's see, 40 XP. Uh, well, let's let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a try. I don't know, uh, we're probably gonna have to, I hope there's not any other trailers around over here. That would be kind of not, not cool, but we'll give it a try. My luck, there's going to be one spot left, and that's where we've got to put it. Yeah, I really should have went with the 48. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, let me take a quick look here, see what i got to do. Okay. That is the wrong way. Let's get that straightened up a little bit. These long trailers are always a challenge. I think we're going in there pretty straight this time. Yep, there we go. All right, yeah, we should, I was going to say we should get there with plenty of time and uh, have lots of XP and stuff. So we got a th over a thousand XP. All right, we're still not quite to level 46. Um, when I started this profile, I did actually use a, a XP and money cheat mod just to kind of get things built back up because whatever, it never fails. I get a profile built up pretty good. They update the game to the next version, and then I end up losing all my modded trucks because the modded trucks, whoever makes those things, haven't upgraded them yet to the new version. I mean, just an endless cycle of that. So what I've started to do is just use not modded trucks. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. We'll, we'll, uh, I'm just going to leave that truck there, I think. Let's go over here, and let's get us a... Uh, a truck built and uh, we'll see I believe it's international is that the Cascadia's uh, have I even wait oh there's one okay yeah well, that's right buy online that's what I was thinking you had to click on one first okay I wasn't, wasn't thinking all right oh I guess it's not that's not it um gosh what are the what are the Cascadia's the Volvo I know it's not a Peter Bill or Kenworth, huh? Well, maybe that particular dealer just didn't have that truck.
Well, it's definitely a, uh, oh, it's a Freightliner. Maybe I haven't discovered any Freightliner dealers yet. Maybe that's what it is. Oh. Yeah, because there's lots of little question marks over here. Ah, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of that. I think we're going to go explore some then. Okay, well, I guess you won't get to watch me build one of those. <laughs> uh. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, I believe it's, let me, let me check my calendar here and look. I think it's going to be that first weekend in June. Let's see, that's May, June. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, I believe, June the 5th. But I'll let you know on uh, Facebook and, and YouTube uh, for sure. But serious mods, uh, like I said, we're going to start doing, I believe it's the first Saturday of every month. We're going to start doing a truck convoy. So if you're interested in joining that, you know, uh, get ATS. If you don't have it already, uh, you'll have to buy all of the DLC states because we, we, gen we generally go everywhere except California. No, none of us like going there. So we <laughs> avoid California like the plague, but, um, yeah, come truck with us. Be a lot of fun. Uh, I may, or may not live stream some of them myself. I don't know yet. I, I didn't didn't really th even consider it uh, this last one because I know usually how those things end up. Plus, I'm I'm trying to talk to the guys and it's difficult to uh, communicate with chat and talk to those guys at the same time and keep up with all, what all's going on and stuff. So I generally uh, just just drive and watch Sirius as uh, uh, live stream. But uh, anyway. I appreciate y'all watching this ATS video, and uh, I will try to do a few more here or there. Uh, maybe we can get a load out of Denver down into, uh, uh, like I said, in, into uh, Durango or something. That'd be kind of cool. And maybe I can get a, a custom truck made up, you know, something different than this one, uh, just to do something a bit different. But anyway, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.